The military in Myanmar has warned anti-coup protesters that they risk their lives if they continue to demonstrate against military rule. Despite the threat, thousands of protesters flock to the streets in cities across the country, including in the economic capital Yangon, where demonstrators chanted and called for a return to democracy. Shops and businesses were also shut on Monday in a general strike called to oppose the military seizure of power. Earlier, I spoke to Kuala Lumpur-based journalist Dave Grunebaum, who has many years' experience reporting from Myanmar, and I asked him if the general strike there was taking hold. Yes, this nationwide strike, it is big. It has a lot of momentum behind it. Uh, a lot of major retailers have closed down, including the largest supermarket chain in the country, City Mart. We've got restaurant chains, both domestic brands and international brands that have closed down. Food delivery seems to be closed down. A lot of mom and pop shops across the country completely closed down. Now, I spoke to some contacts this morning in Yangon and told me when it comes to the number of demonstrators on the streets, they expect today we'll see the largest number of demonstrators we've seen so far in Yangon. And it's still early afternoon there, so we have to see how these demonstrations develop throughout the day. But when you look at the numbers we're seeing so far and you look at the video that's coming in from Yangon, Mandalay, the second biggest city in the country, as well as other communities, they really seem to have just massive mm. numbers. Um, these protesters, they are not backing down. There were mm. deadly incidents in Mandalay over the weekend. Uh, there's the young woman who died in Napidal last week as well. But they have not deterred the demonstrations. They are committed to this movement against the military. Mm. Uh, Dave, the, the military junta uh, said, gave out a statement, and, and it said, in a, and I quote here, protesters are now inciting the people, especially emotional teachers, teenagers and youth to a confrontational path where they will suffer the loss of life. How significant is that threat for the protest movement? Uh, it's very significant. I mean, there's nothing ambiguous about it. It's a clear threat about the potential for them to step up with deadly force in mass numbers. We've seen them use it in some isolated incidents so far, but they haven't used it in this particular case in mass numbers. But these demonstrators are keenly aware that this is a military that in past circumstances, such as 1988 and 2007, among others, have opened fire on large numbers of demonstrators. So the question now is, when would the line be crossed when the military would go that route again? They know that that video and that information is going to get out fast. It's a different world now that's much more connected compared to 1988 and 2007. So the question is, where is the line for the military to go that route? Because right now, they clearly do not have control over the country. So is there a point where they decide that's the only way they can establish control over the country? Dave, do you see, see a way out of this standoff? The longer this goes on, the longer it seems that it's going to be tougher for them to come up with a peaceful way to resolve it. You've got a military led by generals who have spent their entire adult lives in the very insular world of the Myanmar army. It's really just about all they know. Then you've got these demonstrators, demonstrators and the public at large in Myanmar that got a taste of democracy in recent years. They saw the economic opportunities they've been going in recent years, and they want that to keep moving forward. They don't want to go back to military rule, a military that ruled this country for roughly 50 years, and it was an economic disaster. They don't want to go back to that. But here's the other thing. A lot of these demonstrators have not been working this entire month. Mm. And then we're approaching the end of February. And when we get to the end of February and these people don't get paid, are they going to be able to go another month, March, without pay? That's a big question here. So next week could be a real gut check for a lot of demonstrators. Mm. Journalist Dave Grunbaum talking to us there from Kuala Lumpur. Thank you. Sure thing. Okay, we can speak now to Sam, an activist in Myanmar who would like to stay anonymous to protect his identity. Uh, Sam, thank you for joining us. Now, the junta, as we heard there, is warning that protesters are risking their lives if they continue to demonstrate. And we know that two protesters were shot over the weekend where you are in Mandalay. Uh, what exactly does that make you think, you and your fellow activists, will you continue to go out into the streets? Yes, uh, we are determined to... Uh, do, uh, to do this till the end, because um, right now uh, innocent blood, blood, innocent blood has been spilled, and we don't want that to be, you know, for nothing. So we have to keep fighting uh, to get uh, till we get the democracy. Are you worried about what the consequences might be? Yeah, for now uh, the military has been threatening people uh, with, uh, yeah, deadly forces that. Um, we're not that afraid anymore because uh, these are the same things that they have tried in uh, 
1988. Uh, we all know this, uh, their techniques, and we are will be pre prepared. So uh, we are not afraid anymore. Yeah. At the same time, there is also a nationwide strike, uh, strike today. Tell us more about that approach and how that's affecting uh, businesses across the country. Well, um, shops and business, businesses has been closed for today. And uh, we I, I see that uh, tens of thousands of people are participating in, the, uh, in this protest. So uh, this sends a very big message to the uh, to the junta, junta that we're not going to take their rule anymore and this also sends uh sent a message to the whole world that we have a sense of unity in our voices mm -hmm. and we are well committed to take this to the end sam it seems like neither side is backing down here do you think there is still a window for a peaceful resolution to this crisis yes uh people are calling for absolute uh, demolition of uh, the military junta. And um, for me personally, I feel like um, they need to go because uh, they have been uh, responsible for so many uh, evil and suffering of many people. So yeah, personally, I don't, I don't see any compromise having uh, with, the, with the junta. We'll have to leave it there. Sam, an activist joining us uh, from Myanmar. Thank you. Thank you for having me.